there, and here we go, here we go, another fun field project for you. Um, this one is pretty cool. I call this one Collaboration Cubes. Pick this one up off of an idea on Facebook. Thank you very much for that particular teacher for this lesson. All right, so here we go. We have markers, we have this cube, and we're going to put different things in each of these spaces. First one and on top is going to be our name. Now, of course, my name is Mr. P. And so that's what I'm going to put on top, Mr. P. And I think I want to add a little flair too. Here we go, here we go. Let's make it a little bubble lettery, <laughs> block letters, if you will. Do I have to do that too, Mr. P? No, I'm glad you asked me that question. You don't. You can make it however you want. We just have to be able to read it. Moving right along. On this next side, I would like us to use various different lines to draw a pattern um, that looks visually interesting. There's tons of different lines you can use. Um, choose several if you like and create a pattern that you like on this side. You can use whatever colors you like. It's all up to you. Now on this last side, um, this is where I kind of want to teach a technique, okay? Now I call this one cutting the grass. See how I hold the marker on its side and I make these nice long lines? Kind of resembles how your yard looks after you cut the grass with your lawnmower, right? The lawnmower makes these lines. That's why I call it that. And you know how neat your lawn looks after you finish cutting it? Look how neat this looks after you finish actually coloring it in using this technique. I think it's awesome. So everybody, everybody's gonna use this lawnmower technique to color this side in. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Mr. P, ooh, what colors can I use? Can I use any color that I want? Well, for the sake of what we're going to do with this next, I would like everybody to keep to one of six colors. Um, red, yellow, blue, green, orange, or purple. And, and to keep it even, to keep an even amount of colors, I want you to look down on the stool that you're sitting on and whatever stool you're sitting on, whatever color it is, that's the color I want you to use for this final side. Got it? Got it? <laughs> Good. And last thing I'll do on this side is go back and clean up your artwork. There will be some areas that you miss. Just go back and get those areas filled in nice and neatly, okay? Now, this is when you can kind of evaluate and see if you want to add some more things. And yeah, yeah, I'm not done, I'm not done. I want to add some more line patterns. Yeah, 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 look at this, look at this, look at this. And then I want to fill in my name with the color too, whatever color I want. Remember the name, you can do whatever color you want to. <laughs> But this is where you go back and you evaluate. Are you really done? Is it complete? Is it creative? Decide if you need to add more detail. Cause you know what? Detail can turn a good cube into a great cube. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. Don't forget to add detail. Uh, this is what we're doing today. I'd like you now to go and have fun.